This week on Hannity's America, Al Gore makes the case against Iraq. And he was not only promoting terrorism, but was also pursuing a nuclear weapons program. Tonight, we expose the real truth about Iraq and terrorism, and by the sound of it, we know Al Gore would agree. Sean Hannity is on. From the Fox News headquarters in New York City, this is Hannity's America. Let freedom Welcome to Hannity's America. Thank you for being with us. I'm Sean Hannity, and we get right to our top story tonight. The liberal rhetoric over the war in Iraq is getting more and more destructive. Now, just this week, Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi sent a letter to the president declaring that the surge of troops has not worked. Now, Reid reportedly also told liberal bloggers that General Peter Pace is, quote, incompetent and made similar comments about General David Petraeus. But the liberal hypocrisy runs deep. Earlier this week, a 1992 video of then-Senator Al Gore surfaced in which the soon-to-be vice president criticized then-President George Herbert Walker Bush for not being tough enough on Iraq and their ties to terrorists. The Reagan-Bush administration was also prepared to overlook the fact that the terrorist who masterminded the attack on the Achille Loro and the savage murder of American Leon Klinghoffer fled with Iraqi assistance. Nor did it seem to matter that the team of terrorists who set out to blow up the Rome airport came directly from Baghdad with suitcase bombs. Iraq not only stayed off the terrorist list no matter what, but in November 1984, full diplomatic relations were established with the country. The U.S. government continued to exert every effort to channel assistance to Saddam Hussein, even with evidence that he was not only promoting terrorism, but was also pursuing a nuclear weapons program. And welcome, Stephen Hayes, to uh, Hannity's America. Thanks for being with us. Hey, Sean, good to be with you. You know, especially what we're just playing here, Al Gore's comments about President Bush, 41, the stewardship policy he goes on. You know, we'd better pay attention to the detailed record, which provides a deeply disturbing look at a blatant disregard for brutal terrorism. And I think back... You know, considering what would happen in the 90s, the 93 World Trade Center bombing, the Colbert Towers, uh, the embassies in Tanzania and Kenya leading up to the USS Cole, and then the, 90, and then the 2001 attack, and I'm thinking, you know, how dare he, you know, say that? Are you as outraged as I am? Yeah, I think it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, w one of the things you have to remember about those comments in 90, 1992 is that those were comments that Al Gore was making again and again and again on the campaign trail. You know, at one point he said that the terrorism was in Saddam Hussein's nature. And then in 1993, after uh, Saddam tried to have terrorists assassinate uh, President George H.W. Bush, Al Gore said, well, you know, uh, this is a regime that's based on terrorism. And you can go forward. You can look at 1998 and, and the, uh, the reaction to those embassy bombings that you talked about when the Clinton administration struck back in Sudan. You know, no fewer than six senior Clinton administration officials said on the record that Iraq was helping al-Qaeda, right. wittingly or unwittingly, with chemical weapons production. Well, but you know something, then lead up to October 2002, and every single solitary major Democrat, and by the way, that includes Hillary Clinton, that includes Al Gore, that includes past administration officials. They said it in 92, they said it in, in, in 1998, 2002, leading to the Iraq war vote resolution, and now they all distance themselves from it, and they seem to get a pass in the media. Why do you think that is? Well, I, th I think you just put, put your finger on it. I mean, this is really, a, I think we have to fault our colleagues in this instance. In this situation, context matters, and one of the things that I think the, the mainstream media today does very poorly is context. You know, it's relevant when you have Hillary Clinton saying on the Senate floor that, uh, that Iraq had helped al-Qaeda. It's relevant that those were the same things that the Clinton administration was saying back throughout the 1990s. We have right here on this program, we put montages together of Hillary and all her different positions on Iraq. Do you think as the ad campaign is built in 2008, assuming she's the candidate, do you think when people see the video of the vacillation, do you think it'll have an impact on the political process in the election? Well, how could it not? I mean, even, even if 
let's say that the war, hypothetically going forward, does not become more popular, that things do not turn around, that, that the war doesn't go better, even if it remains a relatively unpopular war, certainly whoever, her, her Democratic primary opponents or the Republicans she faces in the general, will make, I think, tremendous hay out of the fact that she's been on basically every side of the issue at all sorts of politically oppor opportunistic times. Yeah. You know, when you go back to the 9-11 Commission, and I think the, the bottom line conclusion I agreed with was they were at war with us in the 1990s, we weren't at war with them. Do you think the war we're fighting now is up to the level it needs to be, considering the nature of the threat, which you write about often, of Islamic terrorism? No, I don't think it is at all. I mean, I think, and, and in, in this instance, I fault the Bush administration to a certain extent. I think they need to be doing more to tell, to tell the country that we are at war, c continue to be at war, that we are on war footing and that we need to be making these kinds of sacrifices yeah. uh, to fight and to win that war. How long this, this battle, the struggle against, you know, Islamic extremism is going to go on, I think you'd probably agree with me. You know, this goes on for many decades to come. Yeah, and as you pointed out earlier, Sean, I mean, this has been going on for decades. You know, we, we, we sometimes fail to recognize that. I was actually astonished when Hillary Clinton, during the Democratic debate uh, not long ago, robustly defended her husband and his prosecution of the war on terror when I think most of us recognize that he didn't he didn't do enough now we could say that the Bush administration didn't do enough in the months before 9-11 you know, I don't think anybody says that they had prior warning as Hillary Clinton once said on the Senate floor but you know there are serious questions to be asked about how long this has been going on before 9-11 and as you said we just started fighting recently all right, Stephen, we always appreciate your uh, insight and your expertise. Thank you for being with us on uh, Hannity's America. We'll see you again soon.